Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Lexia. Um, so I, I know you guys have seen that I haven't been really posting a lot. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I've been thinking about what video to do next, and I guess I've been thinking about it too much, so it's like, it's been stressing me out. And I also tried to do um, the cop belt glitch, but it didn't really work out the way that I was doing it, so... I just didn't I didn't want to do that now okay so let's just get into the video on how to get the black joggers um, I just want to let you guys know that this will um, delete your all your outfits on your girl character so just be aware on that um, so if you're in an online session just go to choose character and then um, do your second character make sure your second character is not your main character because if it is then this glitch basically won't work for you um, so yeah, once you press your second character, if it's a female, make sure you make it into a male character. On the very top, it should say to switch male or female. Um, so once you're done with that, just name it whatever and just take a picture. And if you guys have the the DJ whatever little cutscene, just wait for it to finish. It takes really, it's like a minute. But it's annoying because <laughs> every time you make you're doing this glitch and then you have to make the guilt the guy character then this comes out um but yeah once you're done with that you you're gonna spawn in make sure that your clothing store symbol is in the map if it's not in the map like it is for me like if it's showing you that there's no clothing stores just go to online and then just find the new session because even if you go to the clothing store, the doors are going to be locked and you won't be able to go in, <laughs> basically. Um, but yeah, if you guys are following me on Instagram or TikTok, make sure you do. I mean, I, I rarely post on Instagram, but TikTok, I usually post more. Um, but yeah, so once you guys finally load in go to well first things first make sure you're in passive because you know how griefers be they just go around the little pressers and then just kill you and you're not in kind of in the mood right now because you're doing a glitch so yeah <laughs> um when you're at the clothing store the first thing you're gonna want to do is go to leather jackets and then i know i've said this same <laughs> I put the same jacket all the time, the leopard leather jacket, and then go to business shirts and put the white shirt. Um, so go to pants this time, and then go to shorts. I skipped it, and then put on the what did we call? What did we call? Yeah, the the black leather boxer shorts. And that's what give that's a component for the black joggers only. So for, in this glitch, I'm doing the topless and the joggers, so that's why I'm kind of doing a little bit more to the outfit. Um, just when you're on when you're on the shoe section, go to sneakers instead of the boots, because I tried putting on the black scrappy boots and it didn't work. So just go to sneakers and put on the pink plain high top. And then once you're done with that, go to accessories and go down to ties. Then put on the blue tie. And this will give you the white tie on the female character. I mean, it looks nice. And if you guys want to do the bow tie, put on the blue skinny tie. And I think that one gives you the black bow tie on the female character. It's either the black or the white one. I'm not... I forgot. I'm not sure, but... The point is, it gives you a cute little tie on your female character. And then go to gloves and put on the light woodling gloves. And once you do that, just save this outfit on your first slot. Make sure it's on your first slot. Okay, and then you're just going to want to change tops. Go to party shirts. Party shirts. And then put on the burgundy garland shirt and you guys see that it's open go to style go all the way down to jacket and then it should say open or close and you're gonna want to put it on close 
um but it's gonna take your gloves off so put the gloves back on the light woodland gloves and then once you do that just save the outfit on your second slot um so go to online and then go to creator and that's where you're gonna do the transfer glitch it's like the easiest one that i know of because i know there's one where you have to like do a whole race and that's too much <laughs> nobody has time for that so once this little menu pops up put create a race and then press tutorial and then you're gonna see that your screen goes like this um press pause then go to online and then go down to choose character In this step, you're gonna want to delete your male character. Make sure you don't delete your female character because like I've said, it's you can't get it back once you delete it, basically. <laughs> so yeah, just make sure you delete your second slot, which is gonna be your male character. And then it's gonna ask you to type delete um, so just do that. But once you're done with that, you know where it says return to Grand Theft Auto 5 in the right bottom. For me, it's B because I'm on Xbox, but if you're on PS4, it should be um, the circle. So just press that. And then this is going to take you back to story mode. And once you're able to press the pause menu, just go to an online session. Press pause, go online, and then go down to play GT online, and then go. And I've seen a comment where someone was like, oh, why does the title say it's solo, but you need someone for the mission, for the versus mission? I mean, yeah, you need someone for the mission, but you can push the matchmaking on open, and that can get anybody from your session to join you. Um, that's what I do and it's it's really easy but if it's like another versus mission that's not crooked cop then it's hard to get people to join you but luckily this one's easy um, but if you guys ever need help like comment down your gamer tag and try to find other people that can help you with the glitch um, yeah so once you spawn in go to your clothing store if you're in your apartment and you have the black bikini top um just put that one on it's in the bikini section and it's the black bikini so yeah um once you're done with that just put any gloves if you want um but make sure you don't have like a necklace or anything because it, it will mess up the topless glitch um, or even if you put like a hat on now I think it messes up the top of the glitch but gloves I know you could put whichever one is. <laughs> so whenever you're done press online go to jobs and rocks are created and then go to versus and put the job crooked cop and make sure you're the host or if you're not the host at least make sure that the clothing is set to player owned so if you are the host just confirm all these settings and then this right here matchmaking open that's what gets people from other lobbies to join you that's what you want to have open or cancel auto invite should be on well it is on for me that's why it says cancel invite only auto invite so once you have it on it should say cancel auto invite so like you see for me yeah it took me like a couple minutes but you just have to be patient because people like by the time people join their internet might be a little you know dookie so <laughs> yeah and then make sure you at least have two people because if someone leaves in the middle of like the player selection um like when you're like switching your outfits um it could be really annoying so yeah just you guys see how not too fast but this like mission is like a little bit 
you know, known for transfer outfits. But once you have at least like two people in your lobby, whatever, just start up the mission. It doesn't matter which team you're on. So if like someone tries to get in your team because they don't want to be alone, just go to the other team. It doesn't really matter. Once you're in this screen, go to owned outfit. And you're going to want to scroll through one. Save outfit number one to two. And then back to one again until you see that it's topless with the boat with the um type. <laughs> and as you see, this girl is doing the same tutorial. And like I said, if you want her bow tie, you can put the blue skinny tie on the male character, and that's how it would look. But the choice is up to you. I personally like both, but the white tie makes it look like less plain. So yeah, so whenever everybody's ready up, you're going to have this screen. Make sure you have a rebreather or a great air piece. If you don't, you can just leave, leave this lobby and just go buy one, but don't have it on when you're starting up the mission. Um, yeah, at least make sure it's a great air piece because if you have the rebreather, when you take it off, it's going to take off the bow tie. So yeah. And that's pretty much all you can do. You can, after you do this, you can also change the um, the shoes on your outfit. I think you can put any shoes. You can put any top you want to. But if you do that, make sure you save this outfit first. So you can have the topless and joggers in a separate um, slot. And then just whatever you whatever top you want and the joggers in another slot so yeah uh, once you spawn in just make sure you go to the nearest clothing store or ammunition so you can save your outfit and that's literally all you do for this glitch it's really simple you know solo it's 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 a good glitch to do um if you guys enjoyed uh make sure to like comment and sub to my channel it helps me a lot and thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next video